I am a strong believer and a big believer in being able to attract your dream partner. Why, you may ask? Because that's exactly what I did. Do I believe in love? Of course I believe in love. But I also believe in strategy. And today I'm going to be sharing with you step by step what I did to attract the man of my dreams. If you're new here, hello, my name is Carla. And welcome to Carla's Corner. We have the three B's, beauty, booty, and brains. Let's get into today's episode. Before I continue with today's episode, I really, really need you to keep in mind that this video is specifically for women who are ready to date, who have already gone through the heartbreak, have already gone through their healing journey, who are completely and utterly confident with being themselves. Because this strategy that I'm about to share with you is not for everybody and will not work for everyone that is not ready to attain and live their best life. Now, does this mean that you have to be extraordinary to be able to manifest your dream partner? Absolutely not. I consider myself a regular average gal, which means that you can replicate my strategy and use it to your benefit. Now, what is my strategy? I'm dying to know. I call it my list of threes. Before we get into that, we need to go ahead and dive into manifestation. Okay burning desire so what is manifestation manifestation is basically the extreme desire of a specific thing or achievement that has been in your mind in your thoughts for a period of time that eventually turns into your reality a lot of people believe in the universe but i am a faith-based girly so you can also attain this with the power of prayer well as journaling now before you say wow you're so superficial all you wanted was the man of your dreams all you ever want in life no sis i want it all i want the wealth i want the children i want the husband i want the house i want the car i want it all but truly my burning desire in life is to be a mother i want a family to be able to have a healthy family what do you need you need a good man by your side and why my strategy specifically with attracting the man of your dreams the first step to anything you're building your team you have to think of it as a business and if you are still in the skies and the clouds thinking that love is love there's no such thing as a business in a relationship i'm here to tell you to wake up because a relationship is definitely a business and if you want to have a successful business you need the best players this is why choosing your standards above your feelings is really important wake up now that we've talked about manifestation, burning desire, and what I truly want, you first have to decide what you really want. Why do you want a partner right now? Why do you think it's the best time to want a partner? You really need to think about this because the list of threes will require for you to think about this. Now, let's go ahead and dive deep into what the list of threes are. What you're basically going to be doing is writing everything down of what you're looking for in a partner. I broke it down to three categories, which to me were the most important. And now the man that I call my husband has all of those traits and so much more. Your first list, list number one, you need to know your three non-negotiables. The three non-negotiables are things that you cannot tolerate in a person. Let's say that he checks off the height, the status, everything, but he does not have, has one of your non-negotiables that you wrote down in your list, done, out, no longer talking to him, he no longer exists. You really, really need to think about what your non-negotiables are. I'll give you a personal example. My three non-negotiables consisted of no addictions, that included video games, alcohol, smoking, etc., etc., etc. Second non-negotiable, was that he couldn't be a father. Now, I know that there's controversy around this, but since I was going to be a young 20 year old who was very fertile and attractive, and I was gonna be choosing my first husband, I did not want to add baggage to my relationship. So it was a very big no. Now, if you have children, I think it's totally valid to look for partners that have children, but that was just not my case. Lastly, my other non-negotiable was he needed to be a provider mindset man. He just needed to have that. He needed to be a family man. If he was the type of man to, that loved to be out and about at parties all the time, that just, that wasn't my man. Again, this was my list. You can create your own the way that you desire it. Moving on to the second list. Three personality traits that you need in a man to find him attractive, not want, need. For example, could be funny. He has to be spiritual. 
he needs to be sociable he needs to be going charming whatever it is whatever you like and whatever is compatible with you i don't believe in astrology signs at all but if you believe in that find out what you're compatible with you need in a man for it to work again not want need we are keeping it very realistic here no such thing as a perfect man but there is such a thing as having high standards and finding a man that has all those things now to the last list this one should be easy for you to write out in <laughs> seconds three physical traits that your man needs for you to find him attractive oh i know all of you ladies are like yeah he has to be he has to be taller than six feet so be it he has to be six feet tall or taller that's completely up to you again we're keeping it short and sweet with three my personal three physical traits were definitely smile legs and height this is this is really where you have to think about it what are you willing to sacrifice and give up this is all about compromise because relationships is all about compromise and sacrifice in the best way so now once you're done with your list of threes this is going to take you and it should take you longer than a day you really really need to meditate on what it is that you're looking for in a man because you need to be sure of it this is going to be your guidelines for whenever you start dating man doesn't have one of these things that you wrote down for your list of threes thank you next which leads me to my next point once you have your list, once you know exactly what you're looking for, you've meditated on it, you know what it is that you're looking for in a partner, I need you to start rotational dating. Now, I know your next question, what is rotational dating? Well, stick around to part two on how I attracted the man of my dreams, the story, the details, the gossip, how I practice rotational dating. What is rotational dating? How can you get to and how to access a good men, a good quality men. Where can you find them? Where can you go? Those juicy details stick for part two. But this is all I have for you for now. For Bye.